Hello folks, this is going to be the first of a few collection videos I'm going to do. Um, it's going to be a slightly different than what you normally see when watching collection videos. I'm going to sort of show you it and just give you a little example of what it looks like. Um, I'll start off with a Blu-ray collection on the box sets, then I'll go through the numbers, then A through Z. So I'll, I'll get straight away started into here folks. Start off with the Austin Powers collection. This is a US import. As you see there, take out and you get the three individual movies. The first one, the second one, sorry, that's the third one, and then you have the second one there. Next, uh, it's the complete Batman anthology from 1989 to 1997. As you see, you get all four films in it there from, you get the original Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever and uh, Batman and Robin. Next one then is the deluxe edition of Casino Royale, which I thought this is a pretty nice edition. Um, it's the two disc version with a shit ton of special features in it. You get a nice sort of slip cover there. And then you have your nice real hard cover of Digipack. Take it off. Yet real nice artwork of Daniel Craig there, and then of Daniel Craig, and um, my head's one blank for the girl there. All of a sudden, and um, again, Daniel Craig, James Bond, and oh, I cannot remember her name. I oh, know I cannot remember at all. My head's just went completely blank. And you've got the second disc in there as well, and then you've got this wee the wee book as well. And they're just sort of some info and stuff on it. Pretty good one there, actually. Next one then is the a limited edition two film box set. You have the Dark Knight and Batman Begins in there on Blu-ray. Give you a, a shoot of it there. And inside you get the two films then. You get Batman Begins Blu-ray, which is really nice in Blu-ray. And of course you have the Dark Knight, which is, looks awesome. Just looks awesome in Blu-ray. Next one then, folks, is the the Clint Eastwood Dirty Harry collection. Really love these films. Really, really, I think these are Clint's best movies. Really do love those movies, and I couldn't resist them. The deal I got on them. I actually didn't pay for all these myself. It was sort of a um, between a few of us we got these. And obviously, this collection contains you got Dirty Harry, you got Magnum Force, you got the Enforcer. Sudden Impact, and the last one, the Deadpool, which of course Jim Carrey's in. Also, as well, they look pretty good in Blu ray as well, if anybody's interested in them. The next one, then, it's actually pretty funky. It's the a limited steel edition Pimpier box set of the Fast and Furious collection. Let's see, four movies in there. Really like this, this, this collection, although I sort of wish that these, what they wrote here, Sort of wish that was sort of a sticker because it sort of, I don't know, ruins it. And you take that off, it's just a cover up, and then you get a steel book here. Well, see, the reason why it's just plain is because, obviously, as it said there, it's pimp your steel book. You get these sort of stickers inside, like it's meant to be just like a number plate sort of thing, and just different variety of stickers that um, you, you can put on your box. I just have, I've never really done it, and I don't know if I actually will do it or not. And then inside you get the four movies, just packed in there nicely like that. The Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, the two Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, and the bottom one there, which is Fast and Furious, that's the fourth one. You take the discs out, and you get pretty nice artwork there just behind. That there. That's your artwork behind it, pretty nice. Four cars there. So it's pretty good steel, but it's very cheap on Amazon now to get to. Next we have the Harry Potter Years 5 to 1. Uh, the first five Harry Potter movies contained in that set. You get the uh, the Philosopher's Stone or the Sorcerer's Stone, as it's called in America. The Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, the Goblet of Fire, and the Order of the Phoenix. Good set there. The next then I have is another nice we need set is the Ice Age Complete Collection. It contains all three Ice Age films. 
all three on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy, which is a pretty good deal. So that's Ice Age, Ice Age, then Ice Age Two, The Meltdown, then Ice Age Three, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, which are all pretty good movies. I really enjoy those. Next one then, I've just sort of put it in this box set because it's sort of a I don't know limited edition keepsake, and that's Inglorious Bastards. Just this sort of steel red tin there, where you get just take a, just sort of an extra slip cover where you get the movie, which is awesome by the way. And there's your disc. And you get these sort of just start cards with them. I'm not really going to show you them here because I'm sure you've seen them all over YouTube. So just sort of a real quick one of there. One I'm going to show you guys. Next one then is one I've had another video, it's the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Then I have one of my early, I think it's the first Blu-ray box I actually got and that was the Matrix trilogy. The only thing I really hate about it though is this really soft out cover. I hate that. I really do hate that. And this contains just the three films, The Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, The Matrix Revolutions. Really, I know a lot, of, not, a lot of people don't like the sequels, but um, pretty enjoyable ones. Another box that I got it really, uh, I got this for cheap at the time. I think still the same price now. It's the Mission Impossible trilogy. You see, you get the three films: Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible Two, and MI Three. Then you have the Mummy trilogy. Contains all three again. There, you got. The Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, the Mummy Returns, and the Mummy. And the Disney one double pack after a good deal. That's the National Treasure one and two there. Both filled with special features, and that's the two of them. Then one I've had another video as well, so I'm not really going to open this one. That's Planet of the Apes, the 40th Evolution. Filled with special features, a great, great deal that is. Really great set to have actually. This one here is a pretty good set and it's the Rambo collection, the ultimate Rambo collection. All four movies in this. It's a really good, really, really good collection to have. And you see it sort of opens up like a cross. You get first blood, then second, third, and the fourth. You get wee yard card in here, sort of. Let's get them out. Each one, each one of the movies there. Rambo 3, First Blood Part 2, First Blood, and then Rambo 4. Then you have the Rocky Collection. I really enjoyed this and actually thought the pretty picture quality was actually pretty enjoyable. It's actually set it like a proper collection. Now you got the first one, Rocky 2, Rocky 3. Rocky 4, Rocky 5, Rocky Balboa. And then, oh, the bonus disc as well there. Up to this one, and that's the Ultimate Born collection. Three great movies. And this collection obviously includes the three of them. But you have the Born Identity, the Born Supremacy. And the Born Ultimatum. And finally, we have the X Men trilogy. It contains all three movies, uh, two discs for each. Special features are all on the Blu ray discs. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the box though because of some of the clips inside are sort of uh, broken and the discs don't really sit in them right, so I don't really want to take them out. Yeah, it's sort of a slip cover there. But nice box set. Yeah. Well, folks, that's the first one of a few and well, I hope you enjoy. I'll catch you next time.